Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to this week's edition of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. All right, here's what we're going to cover this week. First, I want to talk about a company that's near and dear to my heart, Hubson. I learned how to fly on a Hubson drone back in 2014 and they've got a new model that we're quite interested in. Then we're going to head to the swamp where an alligator goes head to head with a DJI Spark and I'm pretty sure you can guess how that one turns out. Finally, our very own Liz Robertson was in Las Vegas last week for the Commercial UAV Expo, and we've got some highlights to share from her time at the show. All right, let's get into it. Over the last several years, Hubson has made a name for itself with its inexpensive, relatively high quality toy drones. A few years ago in 2018, Hubson launched their Xeno drone, setting their sights on the prosumer market. And now with its newest offering, the Xeno Mini SE, Hubson has doubled down on its prosumer play. The Mini SE weighs 249 grams, just under the 250 gram threshold that would make it required to be registered in the US uh, for recreational flights and many other countries. With its $349 price point, 45 minutes max flight time and 4K 30 frames per second video, this new drone could be a potential competitor for DJI when it comes to those on the market looking for a reliable camera drone that won't break the bank. Next up, while trying to get a close-up, a travel blogger in the Florida Everglades flew her DJI Spark way too close to an alligator. No big surprise, the gator grabbed the drone from the air and chomped it up. You can literally see smoke coming from its mouth as it destroys the drone. Folks, this is what you get for harassing wildlife. The blogger thought it would be a good idea to post the video online, drawing a barrage of criticism for flying a drone so close to a wild animal. This incident is an important reminder to avoid harassing wildlife while trying to film them with your drone. Okay, lastly, Commercial UAV Expo returned to Las Vegas last week where there were new product releases, great talks, and a very impressive exhibition hall. You may have even seen our marketing director, Liz, our contributing writer, Zach, or a few of our hands-on flight instructors if you were there. There were some major releases that were shown during the live demo, as well as throughout the exhibition hall. One standout drone that we wanted to feature was the Seeker, which is from a new brand, Camaris, that launched during the conference. This drone is not only huge, but it's also very quiet. It has a long endurance capability with more than three hours of flight time, and it's designed to perform a wide variety of commercial inspection operations, such as power, gas, oil, mapping, agriculture, and security. There are also some great keynote conversations about drone regulations, how drones are transforming healthcare and instant logistics, drone delivery, and more. You can read our full recap in the link below this video. All right, folks, short and sweet, that's all we've got for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more on any of these stories. Thanks for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.